It's now our pleasure and honor to have the distinguished California Assemblyman Cacho Achadian representing our region here with us today. The California Assemblyman Achadian has a strong community helping record and is our vital advocate and representative in Sacramento. He is the energetic activist for many important issues concerning this region he so aptly assists. He is supportive of sustainable economic development and stewardship for our environment, and I'm sure you will be inspired by his insights and his plans for our community's future. So let's bring up <laughs> Assembly Member. Thank you for taking time and participating in tonight's exciting event. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you to show our support for maintaining a balance between protecting the environment and growing the economy. I believe the California Space Enterprise Center represents the fair balance that we are seeking in our state. The center seeks to realize the goals and ideals for all share. These goals include private space enterprise, space exploration, education, and sustainable economic development. Projects like these are what our state needs during these uncertain economic times. If we are going to turn California's economy around, it is clear that we must think outside the box and look for ways to promote job creation in emerging industries. One way we can do this is by creating an environment that encourages the development of new technology and jobs of the future right here. As your state assemblyman, I believe that state government must do whatever we can to make California once again the home to innovation. After all, our state is the home of Silicon Valley and should rightfully be at the cutting edge of research and new technology. And the Central Coast is home to Vandenberg Air Force Base, Air Out to Space. Right now, these cutting edge industries are renewable energy, green technology, and space exploration. It is critical that we make California the natural place where companies will want to develop new technology and produce them. By embracing the jobs of the future, not only are we taking steps to improve our environment, we will also create more tax revenue to support essential public services. This means that we can potentially create thousands of jobs right here while retaining strong environmental protection and supporting priorities like education and public safety. Going forward, we must continue to do more to promote high-tech jobs and make our state the natural place where companies in these industries will want to locate and expand. I hope you agree that paving the way to California wants the Golden State to be the home of innovation and high-tech jobs as a top priority. Innovation companies and their investors should be drawn to California for all the natural advantages that we have here. We have highly skilled workforces, the best universities in the world, diverse climate, and unique geography. By offering job creators an attractive business climate, we can lure more development right here in California and the jobs that accompany them. This is not a Democrat or a Republican issue, but a California issue. Everyone must be proactive in developing policies that support the production of innovative technologies already being developed here in our region. If we want to help reach our goal of creating more jobs, then we must make the Central Coast the Silicon Valley of space exploration. We are fortunate to have the California Space Enterprise centrally located right here in Santa Barbara County and in the 35th District. If Democrats and Republicans can work together we can repeat the big success of the past that created thousands of jobs in diverse industries. As chair of the local government committee, I'm committed to doing what I can to give cities and counties the tools they need to encourage job creation. My office is always open to you, so please let me know if you have ideas on how we can make California a better place to live and work. Together, we can renew the California dream for thousands and make the Golden State golden once again. Thank you, and I wish you every success. Thank you so much. Your words were very inspiring. All of our people and volunteers of our environmental education group are great fans of Mayor John Lynn, who works tirelessly and is a dedicated energetic supporter of economic development for his city of Lompoc.
He has served as mayor and chamber president and leads in many other civic community activities. He has been the stalwart champion of the Space Center concept from its earliest inceptions, and he continues to work above and beyond the call of duty to help our environmental education group bring the California Space Enterprise Center to our region. So it is with our sincerest gratitude that we warmly invite our Mayor John Lynn to say a few words to us if he would be so kind. You have to walk on water after that, don't you? You know, I just want to thank all of you for coming. Uh, I particularly want to thank the Chumash Casino and my friend Sam Cohen for putting this together and sponsoring the event. It would not have been possible without them. But most importantly, I want to encourage all of you who are out there in the audience and to talk to your friends, to become involved in the California Space Enterprise Center. It's not a Lompoc project. It's not a northern Santa Barbara County project. It's a project for all of the West Coast. It'll bring space education and information to a whole new generation of people. It'll be an opportunity for students to learn space firsthand through the educational programs in the museum. It'll be an opportunity for people to participate. It'll be an opportunity for space enterprise businesses to come and be involved in our community and in Vandenberg Air Force Base. But it will not happen without all of us becoming involved, without all of us putting effort into this. So I want to urge you all this evening to talk with the folks here from the Environmental Education Group, decide what little part of this you would like to help with and put your effort into it because together we can make this happen and separately we will not make it happen. Get in the game, be involved, come and have, join the party. It's going to be an amazing ride into the future. Thank you for coming and thank you for your time. Say, take me to your leader, but we have our leaders here and I'm already here. Thank you so much, Mayor and our Assemblyman. I'm very proud to be a fellow resident of Lompoc and the citizen of the Central Coast community. I'm thrilled and excited to be working on the development of the California Space Enterprise Center and to share with you some of our plans for what will be there when this project comes to fruition. A private space enterprise campus with a green to gold incubator, an observatory and planetarium with a telescope for access to the public and students and researchers. It will be an exciting world-class attraction for locals and international tourists, a showcase for renewable energy and sustainable practices, an educational center for training future science, technology, engineering, math, and space technology, as well as future career opportunities, launch viewing of missions from Vandenberg Air Force Base that include the new SpaceX West Coast launches of commercial private payloads. From the very beginning, it will be fun and recreational and we'll have stimulating events and concerts and festivals and technology demonstrations that will be held for our, everyone coming and our families, an open invitation to everyone in the world. The California Space Enterprise Center will be organic and evolving and always on the cutting edge of the latest breakthroughs in many industry sectors and stimulate and ensure that our region and California's aerospace industry will continue to thrive and compete with the rest of the world. An economic impact study on the benefits of the California Space Enterprise Center was performed by the California Space Authority a couple years ago and that projected some 500,000 or more new tourists per year to Santa Barbara County and about 3,000 new jobs to be created. And that does not even include the enterprises coming out of the incubator system. We can expect millions in tax revenues to help our schools and our cities and have many other positive effects to our region and to our economy. <laughs> 